What's up everyone, welcome to Alice and Anna and today I wanted to talk a little bit about art direction. Let's go. Okay, so basically I already made a video on art direction before. Um, it is um, available right here, I think. And I just like tried to explain it. And this time I thought maybe I could talk a bit about what it's like to study art direction at the University of the Arts London. The Sirens, yay! We have um, a separate video talking about uh, UAL and pluses and minuses, kinda. Um, so you can check that out as well if you're considering studying that. But yeah, I just wanted to take you kind of like through the process of my project development basically on the second year of design for our direction course let's go so every single project starts with a brief lecture where basically our tutors explain to us what the brief is <laughs> and what we're required to do it's pretty straightforward uh, the lecture itself but sometimes the briefs aren't <laughs> so for example right now the brief is under the title Half the Work. Over the course of the semester, you will work on two distinct projects a time based work relating to the theme labor and a proposal for an exhibition. So it's a bit confusing, and you kind of, I personally take quite a bit of time to kind of figure out what the brief exactly is saying. There's usually a number of outcomes you can make because our direction is such a broad topic. You can make like posters, photographs, uh, a film. But then there's like specific requirements to each outcome. Um, so you kind of like study that and then you see what topic you're given. So in this case, it's labor, um, which it doesn't really say anything because labor literally could be anything. Uh, and that's the trickiest part about, I think, our direction is that everything is very uh, conceptual and you kind of have to make your own meaning out of everything. So after I've studied the brief, kind of look at it, see, you know, brainstorm some ideas and things that I want to research. That's the second part of the project is just research. Non-stop. Re we read a lot, very complicated lit lit literature with very complicated <laughs> words. I could read like three pages without understanding a single word of what I've just read. But I mean, if you don't feel like doing the reading, you don't have to. <laughs> That's kind of like the beauty of my course is that nobody's really gonna ask and you're not gonna get failed. There's not gonna be an exam on which you've read, which is quite interesting. I still prefer to read everything they give me. I just like swallow it up. But like, I know some people from my course don't really read anything and they're doing completely fine because their work is a different thing. So again, this course is very, very independent. And if you feel like you have enough of self-discipline and you are passionate about what you're doing and you can read on your own and you can assign yourself to do certain tasks, perfect. But if you need a lot of guidance, maybe this course is not the best thing for you. Just think about it. So I do a lot of research uh, and along the research lines, I kind of figure out what I want to do. And you kind of start to develop your main concept on what you want to do um, for, your, for your final outcome. Being an art director means that you spend a lot of time in, on your research and you create ideas but that doesn't mean that you have to actually make them yourself and I'm really lucky to be living with Anna and Sergei first of all but also through them I know a lot of people who study on a uh, film and television course uh, at UAL I asked Anna and I thought about this and I was like oh there's this great director and I could work with her if she's available so that's kind of like the third part when you develop your project you kind of think about who you can work with to make it better. There, there's this amazing director that I know, her name is Madeline White, she's fantastic. Um, so I texted her and we had a meeting and I explained to her my brief and I told her what's happening and we started developing it together. I, ma I usually start making mood boards, um, I start writing down like synopsis or kind of like scripts and stuff and you consider things like what are you trying to say? What is the purpose of the film? Who is your audience? Uh, how are you going to make it? Um, how would you make it if you had, um, I don't know, billions of pounds? <laughs> and then you start pre-production and it's basically choosing location, actors. A film is a collaborate, co collaborative work and it's a teamwork. There's a lot of like scheduling and planning that goes ahead 
which again I'm really lucky to be living with Anna because she's a fantastic producer and she produced my film for me beautiful I barely had to do anything I just explained to her and she was like okay I'm gonna do it and after that's done that's when we moved to production and that's when I actually make my work so we went out we shot the film with the director Anna was starring she was acting in it wow a producer and an actor double threat here Okay guys, we are settled in a location, as you can see, very foresty, and we're filming. We're filming on location, it's pretty chill, so Anna's doing an amazing job. Um, this is like probably one of the chillest shoots I've ever done in my entire life, but it's turning out so great. <laughs> but yes, guys, look at this. I'm so cute. I'm so I'm, so, I'm such a star. <laughs> okay. How are you feeling, director? <laughs> I don't want to run. Okay. <laughs> I'm unfit. It's okay though. How are you feeling, Bob? I don't have a role. <laughs> I feel disappointed. That's all I feel. <laughs> And then uh, you move on to post-production. Maddie, the director, decided that she wanted to edit it, which was, again, fantastic for me because it means less work because <laughs> I was already stressing out. And throughout the editing process, normally, I would have probably been a little bit more involved um, and I would give specific notes. But the thing is that w me and Maddie, we talked about what we wanted and we wanted literally the same thing. So I kind of like, I didn't stress at all. I was just like, you know what, do an edit, send it to me, and we'll see <laughs> how it's gonna be like. And she did it, and it was basically perfect. There was like two things that I wanted changed, and that's it. <laughs> it's fantastic when you can work with people who really understand you, and she really does. So she did everything super quickly. What would have happened if this was like my final, final deadline is that when I submit my work, I have to submit two things, the final outcome, and my research and development PDF. In terms of that, they don't really teach you what it is. They kind of show you examples and give you like a list of things that you need to cover. The only requirement is we have to design it in InDesign, Adobe InDesign, and talk about our research and development, experimentation, and put our final outcome there as well. It has to be beautifully designed. This is like some examples of the stuff that I've done. And yeah, and then you just submit it and wait like two weeks and then they give you feedback. That's what happens, I think. That's basically how the structure of the projects themselves are going. And then in terms of like um, <laughs> university and teachings, we have classes on from 2 to 6 on Mondays and Thursdays and from 10 to 2 on Tuesdays, which is basically nothing. On Wednesdays we never have class, on Fridays we never have class, weekends are obviously free. So the teaching time is very minimal, it's very very minimal. Uh, and I can see how a lot of people are frustrated about it. Uh, I kind of agree but also disagree because I'm the type of person, I love working independently and I love developing my own thing. So I do appreciate that it's not like loaded with a bunch of class, but I do wish um, there was a little bit of more guidance and a little bit more workshops and stuff because we do talk a lot about conceptual art and I'm kind of like getting a little bit sick of it. <laughs> it still works for me. I mean, the, is there a lot of things I wish I could have learned from uni instead of learning by myself? For sure. Is it like a huge, oh, I hate that course? Absolutely not. For me personally, not. So definitely, if you if you know that you're, you're able to um, study on your own and you're okay with it, and like you're okay with like teaching yourself how to edit, teaching yourself how to design things, then great. If you need a lot of guidance for that and you need somebody sitting down with you and showing how everything is done, maybe look into other courses for that reason. In terms of tutors, I love all of our tutors. I've never had a run-in or like a bad tutor who like ignored me or anything. My tutors have been 
amazing so far. <laughs> they always respond. Uh, the course itself is very, very structured compared to other courses uh, at UEL. We have a very set schedule, so I always know what I'm doing. I'm, I always know where I'm supposed to be, specifically like on my course and the units on my course. Yeah, I don't know what else to say to you guys. Like, uh, I think if you have any more questions, leave a comment or you can write to us on Instagram. I will answer the DMs and stuff. Uh, but I hope it makes it a little bit clear. The reason why it's so broad is because the course is so broad and it's basically what you make it for yourself. Uh, there's plenty of tutorials, we have a lot of tutorials. We don't have many workshops, which is a shame because I love workshops, <laughs> especially now where everything is online. I really like my course. There are a lot of things that could have been improved, but I don't really see myself being anywhere else. And yeah, I hope this was informative and you found something new and it kind of helped you understand the course a little bit. Again, if you have any questions, honestly, write it down anytime. I will answer to the best of my abilities uh, and explain to you <laughs> whatever it is. If you want to know more about the course and if you want me to talk about something else, <laughs> again, leave a comment. I will be happy to. Yeah, thank you for watching this. I'll see you guys next time because I have a crit happening. <laughs> Bye!